Hello. Hello again everyone. It's time for another Vanners collaboration video. And this month's video is on the subject of top five scenic locations. Don't forget to check out all the other channels in the collaboration group. Uh, there'll be a, a link to the playlist on the end screen and in the description below. And these are the other channels that take part. So number one on our list is Pembrokeshire really, and in particular the Camping and Caravan Club CS we stayed at recently, which was Trezisil Farm, wasn't it? I'm glad he's saying it and not me, but yes, it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was all like long grass, wasn't it? Massive field with long grass, and you could see out to sea and see the cliffs and everything. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? You'd like it there, I think. I don't know. You don't know? Hey, well, well, we'll take you there one time and you can find out that way. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at some of the footage from when we went there. asked me to introduce the next one so if I make a mistake and actually pronouncing I apologize ahead of time Gart Fen Farm which overlooked the lakes and it was at the locks sorry around locks it was Loch Lomond, wasn't it? Loch Lomond which yeah. is absolutely beautiful you could wake up in the morning and see the sunrise see the fields see the cat of the sheep and also one day we actually saw a deer and I had my monocle Monocular, we were yeah. looking at it through and we saw some wildlife as well. It's fantastic. Yeah, that was very nice that one, wasn't it? Let's have a look at some footage from when we stayed there. Number three on our list, I think, is another camping and caravanning club site. This is the one at Hayfield in the Peak District, and uh, it's right uh, on the sort of bottom of the slopes up to Kinder Scout. You can walk up Kinder Scout direct from the site, and yeah, fantastic scenery all around, really. Is that when of... Marilla came with us? That is when Marilla came with oh, us. Oh, yes, yeah. my friend came as well, and she really enjoyed it because um, she brought her tent along. And um, we did some walks around there, it was absolutely beautiful. And we also spent some time um, doing a bit of photography, Marilla and I, while Alex went on further. Yeah. So there's, if you like photography, it's, it's an amazing place to be as well. Yeah, you're right by the Kinder Reservoir as well, which is very nice. And we actually stayed there twice. Yes, we have stayed there twice, yeah. yes. Yeah. Let's have a look at some of the footage from our more recent stay. Yeah, it's camping and caravanning club site, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you come with us on that one, yeah. and I think you really enjoyed that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, all around is the Forest of Dean itself, of course, and uh, we're right near to Simmons Yacht, which has great views from the top when you climb up there, isn't it? Well, it was a lo load of cycling as well. Um, Mia had a bike with her, and we, we took a sighting through the forest as well, so that was 
that was well worth it. And again, lots of wildlife, lots of um, nature and trees and flowers and everything else like that as well, wasn't there? Yeah, because it's quite hilly, you do get nice scenic views from various points as well, don't you? Yeah. A lot of forest sites obviously can just see the trees. Yeah. And you can't what see the that? wood for the trees, can you? What was that animal that we kept hearing but we never saw one? The wild boars. Oh yeah. Yeah, we did We did try and see some wild boars but we didn't manage it. Did no. we? Yeah, if, if you want to watch Alex walking around in the dark chasing wild boars and not finding that in one of the videos too. I think it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's have some look at some footage from the Braceland site in the Forest of Dean. Nice. really nice wasn't yeah. it? you enjoyed it you came with us on that one as well didn't you yeah we went once and i really liked it and we went to the zoo yeah and then the set and then we went again because because i really liked the first trip but that is scenic isn't it because from yeah. the site if you the site's in two parts and either side of a road but if you stay on the front part you're right by the beach and you can look yeah. out to sea can and see uh, yeah, see all the ships and stuff coming in, can't you? Yeah. Did we get to fly our kite that time, or was that the time before? Uh, yeah, we did get to fly our kite that so time, that, but that's it a didn't... good place to do that. As yeah. Well. Yeah. As if big... you go when it's going to be like really windy, then that's a good time that you can take a kite. Oh. It's a big, big shingle beach, isn't it? Yeah. So if you like big skies and sort of seascapes and stuff, yeah, that's a really nice scenic site to stay on. Mm. Should you have a quick look at some footage from there? top five scenic sites. Don't forget to check out the other members of the collaboration group for their top five scenic uh, sites and areas and uh, see what they thought were the best places they'd stayed at.